Hello folks, this is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and today is Triple T Terminal Tip Tuesday. Now today is probably one of the coolest terminal tips and probably the most philosophical we've had thus far. And what it allows you to do is put all of your multitasking away. Believe it or not, the human mind is not actually capable of multitasking. We can perform two tasks simultaneously. For example, I could stir a pot of soup while also texting my friend, but I couldn't be thinking about both tasks at once. Our subconscious allows us to perform multiple tasks, like driving for instance, and we can switch back and forth very rapidly. However, we cannot actually focus on two things at the same time. We expect our phones to and we expect our computers to, but we ourselves cannot do this. So why do we have so many windows open? On our computer we have iTunes open and we have Chrome open and we have Twitter open and the main reason is because we're lazy. We open applications and we don't use them. We send them to the background and we use our foreground to focus on our proprietary content. Now what happens more often than not is it causes or becomes a distraction. I'll be writing an essay and then I will physically change direction and move to my Twitter feed and start reading and responding to tweets. Well, the best thing to do would just be to leave Twitter closed, but the fact of the matter is, is we like to have multiple things going on at once. It's in our human nature to be challenged or to, uh, we're almost as human mankind ADD. I mean, we're not, but it's very difficult for our mind to focus on one task without veering anywhere else not even thinking of veering anywhere else. So what this allows you to do is get one window in the frame. Now you may be thinking, Quinn, this sounds an awful lot like spaces. Well, actually it is. This was included in 10.0, the original Macintosh OS 10 operating system. It was changed in the first update because people hated it. It was not in system nine and people had it in system 10 and they hated it and they said, go away. So Apple went away and what it did was it took all of the finder windows and it only had one open. So instead of having four finder windows open and all your background, it focused on one window. It got rid of everything except for what you were focusing on. That was it. That's all there is to look at. And then when you would switch back to Chrome, for example, finder would go away. So this is a lot like spaces in the fact that it kind of gives you your own sector or your own workflow, but in this environment, only the window that you're looking at, only what you're doing appears. Now with Snow Leopard, there is a way around it. So you can, let me just enable it for you and I'll show you how it works. First, you're going to want to open terminal. You can do a spotlight search for it. You can find it under finder and applications and utilities. And then uh, you can find it under terminal, terminal, there we go. The command you're going to run and it's in the box below is defaults write com.apple.doc single minus app boolean true. Okay, so we've created this true variable and uh, you can reverse this at any time. Uh, you can do it by just doing defaults write com.apple.doc uh, and then change everything except for true change to false. You press enter and now we need to relaunch our doc. So we're going to type kill all space doc and there we go. We've enabled this. Now, for those of you that still don't understand, this is what happens. I'm using Google Chrome, right? When I switch over to iTunes, Google Chrome goes away because Google Chrome is not what I'm focusing on now. And like I said in Spaces, and the reason people still may be attached to Spaces is in Spaces, I can say when Google Chrome is open, also have iTunes, the ability to be open in that same space. But the purpose of uh, Spaces is to utilize your workflows. So I have a word processing screen. When I'm doing schoolwork, only that schoolwork screen is open. iTunes is not open, Twitter's not open, and uh, that kind of just eliminates the need or the cause or even the want to touch these other applications. Now, this is great except for if it's there, we're gonna veer off to it. So what this does is it eliminates that. It only focuses on the task at hand and it even works for the finder. And it's just a very, very good way of going about it. Now, you may think, well, this sounds like something my grandma would use so she doesn't get confused by all the windows, but it can actually be used in a lot of power user you know, type of ways. It is a replacement for spaces, it really is. And you may be thinking to yourself, well, what happens if I do want Chrome and Twitter open at the same time? 
I'm sure you all know the command, and if you don't, it's about time to learn it. It's command tab. That allows you to shift through the different applications you're using. Now, when you use command tab, this will allow you to have both applications open simultaneously. I can go back and forth, and they're not going to disappear. But then, boom, I go back to it, and we're ready to go. So this really kind of changes the way you'll use your Mac, because you don't focus on the Windows or the content in the Windows. You focus on the applications in the dock. When I want to move to another application, I click it, and that other workflow goes away. And like I said, let's say I was tweeting something and I needed to get the information off my Chrome page, I just go to the Twitter client or to my text editor, what have you, and all of these open windows will cycle and open the same way. But it really is just a very handy way to minimize and get rid of the distractions in your workflow. I found it to be extremely beneficial in schoolwork and a lot of other stuff. It keeps your desktop clean and it really does make you focus on th one thing. You get things done faster, it's just a matter of fact. So hopefully this terminal tip will help you utilize your workflow. Uh, again, to change it, all you need to do is open terminal. If you wanna go back and you say, wait, I wanna do a lot of things and have a crazy disorganized workspace, you can uh, paste that and instead of true, you type false and then you kill all, dock, and then you can have as many applications as you want open in the same space at the same time. So let me know if you like this. It's gonna be weird at first. It'll be really weird at first, but I can almost guarantee you that you're gonna like it. So I've been using it. I moved away from spaces. This is a lot faster than spaces. It doesn't take any CPU, and it's something that I really honestly have quite enjoyed. So let me know. Is it something you use? Do you not care at all? or? Do you even watch my videos? So thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and comment. And as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.